Welcome, family, friends, and loved ones to the Celebration of Excellence to honor our graduating graduates sitting before us. We're so blessed to be part of God's plan, to be part of such a wonderful celebration as these students work feverishly for the last several years to pursue those goals and dreams to become what their futures hold for them. The graduates, please stand and be honored. Stay standing, and I want you to turn to the loved ones that's here supporting you tonight and give them a round of applause. Our first speaker will be Dr. Charles Fowler for the invocation. Thank you, and good evening. It's a joy to gather and celebrate our nursing graduates this year and as we begin our program would you bow with me as we ask God's blessings on this evening gracious father we thank you for the gift of this day we thank you for Carson Newman University and this evening we thank you in particular for our nursing faculty and staff who have invested so much of themselves in these graduates. I give thanks to you for each of these graduates. I thank you for the education they have received, for the desire to provide excellent care to their patients uh, moving forward. And I thank you for all the people uh, who, whose lives will be impacted, their hearts comforted, and their, their illnesses addressed through the care of these nursing graduates tonight. It is an extension of your work at Carson Newman, extended through the lives and service of these nursing graduates. And we give thanks to you for that. And as we celebrate them tonight and the culmination of this particular pursuit of their degrees and certifications we give thanks and blessings for that and ask that you would bless our time together thank you for the joy of being able to gather together and to celebrate uh, all of these graduates and uh, we do so with thanksgiving in jesus name amen Dr. Gregory Casanova will present Sigma Theta Tau. Sigma Theta Tau International is the International Honor Society for Nursing. It is an honor and a, a distinction to have attained invitation, and tonight I'm going to name the uh, students who have met that criteria and who have received an invitation to join. And if, as I call your name, if you would stand, I apologize for the first half of the list. You'll be standing longer than the rest, but uh, we want to give you honor and recognition for that tonight. At the undergraduate level, students must attain a minimum GPA of 3.0 uh, on the standard 4.0 scale and be in the top one-third of the graduating class. For the MSN students, they have to attain a 3.5 GPA uh, on the standard 4.0 scale and be in the top third of the graduating class as well. So when I call your name, if you'll please stand, and I'll try to say the names correctly. Aaron Archer, Tressa Babber, Jennifer Brosius, Holland Bruce, Sabri Bunn, Michaela Bird, Madeline Crawford, Deja Ellaby, Olivia Fanning, Avery Griner, Alexis Headley, Cassandra House, Kelsey Keeler, Sarah Grace Lichty, Catherine Massey, Dylan Morrow, Kevin Nickens, Terrell Nishimori, Emily Ogle, Grace Pesimir, Megan Reynolds, Hannah Rhodes, Kayla Schwinn, 
Melissa Simpson, April Steele, Amanda Tilly, and Kelsey Lynn Yori. You'll recognize them at graduation because they'll be wearing the purple and white honor cords. Congratulations. Ms. Carol Ann Henley will now present the BSN Student Awards, and Lindsay Janik, the junior class representative, will present the Leadership Awards. Please come forward. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's my honor to recognize achievement students that have maintained high uh, academic uh, knowledge in the program. The first award is our highest academic standing. This award goes to the undergraduate student in the Department of Undergraduate Studies in Nursing, graduating class, having achieved the highest cumulative GPA at the end of the semester prior to graduation. And I'm proud to announce Emily Ogle. The next award is our Outstanding Graduate. This award is presented each year at graduation. The recipient will be recognized at the annual Celebration of Excellence ceremony in May. This award goes to the student selected by the Department of Undergraduate Studies in Nursing Faculty to represent their definition of the most outstanding student to graduate that year. In nursing, the outstanding graduate is chosen for clinical skills, academic standing, and involvement in both Department of Nursing and University activities. I'm proud to present this to Grace Pesimir. The next award is our Achievement Award, which is given to a student in the traditional program and a student in the accelerated program. This award is presented by the faculty of the Department of Undergraduate Studies in Nursing to the student showing a consistently high quality of clinical performance in all clinical areas. The student must have at least a B-level academic standing the award represents high achievement in nursing is also announced at Honours Convocation. The traditional award goes to Marty Rogers and the accelerated award goes to Sarah Grace Litchie. This next set of award, or this next award, sorry, is uh, selected by the recipient's peers to represent the individual demonstrating the most leadership within the group. <clears throat> In order that the recipient shall not become known prior to the award ceremony, the secret ballots are counted by the faculty and the award is presented by the junior class representative to the Student Affairs Committee at the annual Celebration of Excellence ceremony. For the traditional, it's going to Terrell Nishimori. And for the accelerated, Sarah Grace Lichty.
Congratulations. The MSN addresses will be given by Mr. Isaac Blair and Ms. Jennifer Brocious. Please come forward. Wow. Guys, I want to first of all say thank you for everyone who came here tonight. Thank you for all of our amazing faculty um, who had the pleasure of seeing me twice. But I appreciate everything they've done. I appreciate the family support that's been given, not just to me, but to all of my peers. It truly has been a blessing. It takes a village, not just one person. So guys, here we are. Each one of us have made it to a place in our lives that we once dreamed of or even thought impossible. We are occupying the seats of so many others that have walked this path before us. We have accepted the responsibility that comes with simultaneously being both a leader and a servant. Our time spent here at Carson Newman hasn't always been easy, but it has always been rewarding. There have been many hours spent either worrying, crying, and studying, <laughs> and not all in particular order. We've visited with countless patients, we've interacted with various instructors, and we've established lifelong friendships with one another. Time surely has sped by over these past few years. Nevertheless, we're here now. We've made it. However, I want to challenge you all with a thought. Are we finished yet? There are people out there somewhere that God wants you to meet. They're alone. They're tired. They're scared. These qualities may be present in one person or multiple people as you come in contact with. All of these people have one thing in common, though. They all need you. They need you to hold their hand when they tell you about their hardships. They need you to pay attention to them when they feel like no one else will. They need you to be their biggest cheerleader. And they need you to help celebrate their accomplishments. Each one of us, regardless how you may believe, have chosen to serve others as Jesus did, as future nurses, providers, or educators. We must never douse the flame that is currently ignited within us. We must never let the troubles of this world negatively change our character. We must continue to strive to make this world a better place. Guys, we have a duty to fulfill to our fellow humans that we've not even met yet. But we're in a paradox. Some of us may think, hey, we're finally finished. However, we're just beginning our life's purpose. We're not finished yet. I want to leave you all with a closing statement from the book of Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verses 30 through 31. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Thank you all. Thank you, Isaac. Didn't, no pressure, right? That was a great speech. Um, so first, I would like to start off by thanking all of the faculty. Um, we could not have done this without you guys. You all have been amazing. So I would like to say good evening, family, friends, faculty, and honored guests. My name is Jennifer Brocious, and I feel incredibly honored to and proud to speak on behalf of the online MSN program. I would like to begin by sharing a quote from Maya Angelou. As a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the mind, soul, heart, and body of our patients, their families, and ourselves. They may forget your name, but they will never forget how you made them feel. As we embark on this new adventure, we should never forget our roots as nurses. I encourage each of you to pursue an area that you have a passion for, helping a population that holds a special place in your heart. That will look different for each of us as our nursing backgrounds vary widely. 
Although we are graduating today, the learning must never cease. We have been through many ups and downs in these last few years, but in the end, we helped each other and encouraged each other and made it through together. We have all made sacrifices in the pursuit of this education, but remember the journey. Remember the times that we came together to get through tough exams and shared our excitement and our clinical experiences. Never lose sight of how far you've come and the places you'll go. Let us remember, as a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the mind, soul, heart, and body of our patients, their families and ourselves. They may forget your name, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Challenges are what make life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. I would like to thank you all for attending this momentous occasion and supporting your loved one through this chapter in their life. I especially have to thank my husband, Nate, for all of the dinners cooked, dishes done, house cleaned, diapers changed, all while lending a shoulder to cry on and an ear to vent my frustration. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you, Isaac and Jennifer. Those were beautiful. The BSN class, class gift to nursing will present, be presented by Mr. Tanner Kincaid and Ms. Haley Bonnart. And the MSN gift will be presented by Ms. Katie Massey and Ms. Jennifer Brocious, with an acceptance by Dr. Leanna Spence. Come forward, please. Thank you. We are presenting the gift from the BSN graduates of 2022. On behalf of the on-campus MSN class, our class is donating the picture for the nursing department. On behalf of the online MSN program and the postmaster's certificate program, I present this gift to the nursing department. And now we have the presentation of the recipients. And again, family, feel free to move about to get your pictures um, when your loved one is up here being presented. The BSN students will be presented by Dr. Bo Christian with the pinning by Dr. Lana Spence. The MSN students and post-master certification students will be presented by Dr. Kimberly Bolton with the hooding by Dr. Gregory Casanova and Dr. Courtney Watson. The postmaster certificates will be given by Dr. Adam Einhardt. All right, let us begin. First Lieutenant Haley D. Bonnet. You're welcome to come closer if you need a better shot. Holland P. Bruce.
Alexa Brunson. Sabri A. Bunn. <laughs> Michaela L. Bird. Madeline G. Crawford. Deja T. Ellaby. <laughs> Olivia G. Fanning. Sydney R. Fitzgerald. <laughs> Emily N. Fortis. Summer E. Gahagan. <laughs> Kincaid T. Gillespie. Tina G. Goodman. <laughs> Tanner S. Grimmett.
both good sides. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Avery M. Griner. Antoine L. Harris. Alexis F. Headley. Kendra B. Hickman. Cassandra L. House. Not very many people here for you. Madison D. Huffstetten. Larissa M. Hyder. Tanner S. Kincaid. <laughs> Caitlin G. Christie. Lamore M. Lane. <laughs> Sarah Grace Lichty.
Jennifer Collins Martin, registered nurse. Sarah Hayes McGinnis. Spencer A. McLean. Morgan L. Monday. <laughs> Taryn K. Nichols. First Lieutenant Terrell K. Nishimori. Emily L. Ogle. Sydney L. Pierce. Grace E. Pessimir. Alicia A. Redman.
Hannah M. Rhodes. Marty L. Rogers. Ashley Sanchez. <laughs> Regina M. Schrader. Haley P. Seal. Ty D. Weber. <laughs> Glenna K. Wade. Aaron G. Archer. Tressa Abigail Baber. Isaac D. Blair. Jennifer L. Brushes.
Kerr. Catherine E. Fields. <laughs> Joanna Locke Scallion. Kelsey Ann Keeler. Dylan Snow Morrow. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to see if you knew your outfit. <laughs> Hey, Massey. <laughs> Kevin P. Nickens. Karen R. Powell. Bridget C. Ramsour. Schaefer. <laughs> K. 
Kayla Nicole Schwind. Sophia Serrata. April Nicole Steele. Kimberly M. Stewart. Amanda Gail Tilly. Kelsey Lynn Elizabeth Yori. Roberta E. Burks. Lisa K. Fanning. I'm sorry if I don't say this right. Martin. <laughs> Marticiso P. Lewis Alcindor. <laughs> Stephanie M. Pierce.
Dr. Lena Spence will give our closing remarks, followed by the benediction by Dr. Jeremy Buckner, and we'll finish off the re with the recessional. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Say something inspiring. Come up with something big that they'll take with them for the rest of their days. Don't worry, I failed. <laughs> So I have no great words of wisdom, except for those that were offered by my eight-year-old on the way over. He saw me scratching and thinking, and I'm like, what am I gonna tell the students? I know what to tell them, Mom. Okay, what, what would you tell them? They've done so good. Just try your best. Do your best. So then, of course, the six-year-old decides to pick up on this theme. Tell them good behavior, <laughs> good behavior. So guys, when you go out, remember the wise words of some small children. Good behavior matters. Be ethical in your interactions. Be kind and treat your people first. More than disease processes, more than meds given, these are people with lives and stories. And when you're out there, good behavior and all, remember to always do your best. Do your best to protect your patients. Do your best to change the culture in healthcare. Do your best to take care of yourself and remember to protect your own peace. And at the end of the day, remember that you were called for such a time as this. Do your best and know that's enough. Proud of you. Would you please pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we give you thanks this evening for the friends and the families and the well-wishers who have come together uh, to celebrate these graduates, knowing there have been many hours and many sacrifices to achieve this moment, to achieve this day. This is the first of two nights of excellence. They start with this, the pinning and the hooding, and tomorrow we will celebrate commencement and graduation. Now I am reminded through Dr. Spence's words and the words of the president who speaks often and recites this word, we are made, we are your workmanship made in Christ Jesus for good works, which you have prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. And I'm also reminded of your word that the apostle Paul writes in his letter to the Galatians, let us not lose heart in doing good for we will reap a harvest if we do not grow weary. So then, while we have opportunity, let's do good to everyone. Father, we commend these graduates into your hands and into your guidance, knowing that you have prepared for them good works, and in those works they can walk. Father, give them hearts that are resilient, that weep for those who need assistance and care. Father, we thank you for nurses. We thank you for their hands and their feet and their hearts. We thank you for medical science. We thank you for your love that you have given us through medicine and through healthcare. And we thank you for these graduates. We thank you for sending them here and we thank you for sending them out. We pray these things in Jesus' name, amen.